Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt for the PC, of course. And we are officially on part 103 of our series. Hooray! So, let's flip to the quest at hand, showing you the tooltip per usual. And uh, this quest is possession. So I don't know if this is, you know, a haunted house so we've had a few of them in Velen um, that involved godlings, not truly um, haunted houses. But uh, you know, we're here in Skellige. Let's uh, let's see what this is all about. So without further ado, guys, let's get to it. Quiet little place. Ooh, cutscene. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Sounds like the rantings of a madman. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Hmm. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. Oh, I it is a haunted houses. house. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in the Okay. I like it were yesterday. Off the fell over. So we've got to look for Cirrus. Or Cirrus, which is the Oncrate's uh, or crack. Croc, or how, how do they say it? Croc. Yeah, I think that's the proper way to say it. Croc's daughter, Sarah. So she's attempting to become queen by doing some quests. So I'm here to help her, just like I helped um, Croc's son. I can't even say it right, but I'm going to just say Croc. Croc's son um, on the quest. What was that quest called? So you guys can look that up if you want. It was a frost giant quest. That was what he wanted to do, was slay a frost giant. So I helped him do that. Um, oh, the Lord of Unvik. So look up that quest. I, I definitely have that. And that is in my <laughs> no commentary videos. There were 14 that I didn't know Windows 10 when it updated. Because um, I've had Windows 10 for a bit. But when it ran some update, it disabled the mic setting in my bandicam software so i had 14 videos i had no idea i didn't have commentary but i didn't want to re-record them because i'd have to start a whole new game there's no way i had those saves so but anyways um it shows everything you can hear the audio in the game just fine it's uh no commentary though and maybe you maybe you'll be happy with that respect witcher Did you damn balamore just shut up god <laughs> so let's see do I have yeah I got everything's recharged so why don't I go ahead now we are on death march difficulty just so you know in case you haven't seen the video where I switched it over um, it was becoming too easy on any difficulty so I decided to crank it up and we did a uh, a five level above 
my current level quest, and uh, we killed the boss just fine. So I think we're gonna see a death march. So we've got to go that way. Oh wow, we have a lot of. Uh... Oh, I've already been here before. Okay, my discoveries of everything. I've I've got all the Gwent cards. I was just kind of curious. So we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna pause the video, and I will see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, we're here looking for Saris. So she's in these areas. So this is the haunted house. Okay. Or the supposed haunted house. Damn. Something's seriously wrong here. Oh, damn. That definitely means that something's going on. Fresh footprints. Could be Saris's. There's a door going in the basement. Very creepy. That's going over there, so let's let's pop on in here. I keep hearing whatever it is. Saris passed out. Gotta get her out of here. Looks like like the energy's coming out of her. Being eaten from her. What what happened? Where am I? Oh my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Ulrich's clan. I need it to lift the curse that holds Ulrich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious oh, enough yeah. for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the Isle had the same doubt, but none would mention it aloud. Mm hmm. What do you think? Did Udorik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udorik right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udalric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udalric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udalric both lived here. 
Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. Okay. I think it's going to be down in the basement. Like all these creepy noises going on. Hmm. Okay, I don't have a key. Here we go. What's this? What do we have here? Aha! Oh, it's pissed, whatever it is. I swear I saw something move. Guys, yeah, that's not a ghost. That's something much darker. That's a demon. It probably has an actual name in the uh, the lore. Yeah, you see, like um, the border. I, not the poison border I have from my alchemy, but there's like a dark border. There's something about this house. See, is it going to clear up? I don't know. It still looks like it's there. Hmm. So, to find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. Alright, we're going to head down. I'm going to pause the video. See you guys in a minute. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. I take it she uh, can have a relationship with me. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl. Our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrek hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skelliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. I take it at swim Treacherous time. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. 
And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan reign. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna go, uh, go to where the, uh, the body's located, and I'll see you guys over there to, uh, put the sword to rest with the corpse. Well, I had some, uh, or at least a drowner over here I wanted to fight How you like while you guys silver? watch. Ooh, yeah. Jeez, strong attacks just do not work well with some of these. At the mix up like Ardor or something. Oh, let's see. How far out are we? We're pretty close. Just in case, why don't we take a little bit of Killer Whale? We will see underwater better too. Yep. See, we don't even need a sail. Must be the place. Oh boy. What the hell is that? Okay, it is. Uh, that's a siren, or I forget what those are. This looks like it's it. There we go. We got some on the other side. Oh, there it is. A little unobstructed view. So we pop the sword back at the dead body. Thank God for this potion, because I'd almost be out of breath right now. I'm wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see you, Rick. Now, in case you guys are wondering, you can swim forever as far as i know you won't get tired so if you ever want to you know you're you're when you take a boat in this game it can get shipwrecked so don't don't freak out um you just have to worry about drowners so i'm gonna pause the video swim back and see you at the quest point see you in a minute i swear i just heard somebody That's scream it must have been the yarl i never knew a man as brave did you sever his Why'd you do it? What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Oh. Yeah, this demon's telling him to do all sorts of stuff. Like feeding off of his fear. What did the gods want? Exactly. Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer. And regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a god. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. 
is I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Oh, he Come. knows what it is. I wonder what it is. Ugh. It's like a demon. Well, know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? Hmm. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously How hard to fool. What is a demon? Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky. But I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, Her and Yennefer. we can always try the Witcher's way. I think she wants to give me a Skellige shakedown. I guess we're going to try to trick it. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Boy, at least I have to run back. <laughs> it's a little far. I gotta look for a way to trick it. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Ooh, it's 
It's trying to feed Siri. off me. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. <laughs> this demon. Hey, at least the demon's scared. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udalric or Aki. Geralt! Oh boy, I wonder what she's plotting. She can't tell me. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. And doesn't the demon hear you talking out loud right outside the house? Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. Alright, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. What do you need me to do that for? Oh boy, what's she gonna do? Over there! She's running to the old house! Bravo. Oh no. No, no, no. Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the feed. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Oh boy, I can't do it. I can't do it. No, 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 no. It's just a video game. I can't do it though. Sarah's had a plan, but we'll do it my way. I'll deal with you later. Let's go. The hind won't leave on its own. This isn't over. Just made yourself an enemy. I'd have made no such thing if you'd only trusted me. And tossed an infant in the oven? I don't think so. The babe would have been fine. Round back the oven, there's another door. I'd have pulled the child out before the flames could even warm him. What? The Hyam would have thought you'd kill the tyke. It would have abandoned Udalric. I'd have showed it the babe then, safe and sound. It would have had to go. Hmm, not a bad scheme. Just risky. I'd rather do it the Witcher's way. Yeah, I can't. Let me talk to Udalric. Chance harming I'll a baby. explain what you wanted, what happened here. What if the door didn't open in the back of the What Ceres did, don't hold it against her. She wanted to help banish the voices that haunt you. Help! Casting my babe in an oven! Things will calm down. You'll talk, figure it out. She had the best intentions. Important you know that. Yet she did not win your trust. Because I decided to solve this the Witcher's way. I know what haunts you. Whispers in your ear, commands you to hurt yourself. It's neither the gods nor your brother. But I hear it. Clear as a bell. The voice speaks. The voice is that of a Heim. The creature feeds on the guilt you feel for not helping Aki. Good news is we can defeat it. And the bad? We gotta survive a night in its lair. Your old house. No. No, no. That'll end badly. It can't end well. I can feel it. Get yourself together. If we're to stand a chance, you need to be strong. You need to be a Skelliger. I am a Skelliger. We need to prepare the house first. Light some torches in the main room. Make sure they illuminate every nook and cranny. And then? Then you just need to show up. I'll take care of the rest. Fear not, Jarl. We'll tend to everything. You should rest in the interim. Good idea. Meantime, I'll place the torches. 
Hard to believe any good could have come of it. On the other hand, I've known you since you were a child. Your craft got yeah, one more. I never harmed another rightfully. Let's leave it be. Leave it. So, ready? A Skelliger's always ready. To defeat his foes, or fall in battle trying. Only one to fall today will be the Heim. Need I prepare? What will happen? Ignorance is bliss. Trust me. Just make sure you stay vigilant. Listen to what I say. Fine. So, what now? Shall we begin? Let's start. Think pleasant thoughts, don't let the Heim drag you into guilt. And pray to your gods I'm not wrong. Alright, let's quickly look. I wonder if it's a relic. Let's see what we got here. It's called a Heim. It's definitely not a relic. Maybe it's uh, considered a specter. Yeah, we don't know what it looks like yet, but this is pretty much Axie. Oh, I'm sorry, Igni. A shadow? That's weird. Specter oil. Moon dust. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll just use Spectre Oil because we're, we're going to be in the house so I can't use my um, Dancing Star Bombs because I'll just burn us both. Okay, so let's make sure that we have our Spectre Oil. I remember how uh, powerful I made my Spectre Oil so far. I had Superior Vampire. Oh, I didn't know that. Hybrid. I still need a lot of oil upgrades. Well, at least I got enhanced. That's something. What do I gotta do? Light the torches again. Holy shit. I should have done Axie on uh, 
behind. Maybe I really do need to use Axie directly on him. I get it to work. Calm down. You can there we do go. this. Now get back behind the torches. It took me a second to figure out what was going on. Now I'm going to test how Axie on. Whoa, I don't think so. Oh, it was Igni that it was weak against. Alright. The Heim's gone. I can't see it. I saw! Saw it sink into the ground! Into the ground? Must have weakened it enough so it hid deep within its lair in the guts of the house. Mm hmm. Listen carefully. I gotta go downstairs, finish off the Heim before it regenerates. Don't move. At least the torch is out all that. Holy shit. There it is. Freaking tough to see. I killed it. <laughs> the poison got it. Crystallized essence. Huh. I think that Heim had an actual name. Wow, that was cool. You see how hard it hit me there? Holy crap. Thank God for my, all my alchemy. What's that? Is that a video glitch? Or are they just trembling in terror? Weird. That was a really cool boss fight. It's over. Over? I killed the Heim. You're free. Let's get out of here. Well? It worked. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel... As if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. Wow. That was so cool, though. That was free. That that fight I'll freaked me him. out. He seems confused. How the hell did my poison even stack on a specter? <laughs> like, I just don't get it. Well, I mean, I'm grateful because I couldn't find it. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on Speaker Rock? 
Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. <laughs> she keeps talking about it. Must be. And the lioness is best not vexed. So time I was on my way. Farewell, Ceres. See you, Witcher. Yeah, she likes me a lot. Let's see if it updates uh, another quest. Yep. So I think that ties into uh, uh, Croc's uh, quest because he sent me out to help his two children. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I really like that quest. I mean, there's a lot of dialogue back and forth, but the story was so good. And that boss fight with the, the Heim was just, it was really, really good. I want to check if we go back. Let's see here. still looks like I guess that's exactly what it looked like super creepy though very poltergeisty especially when uh, if you guys didn't even catch that when I first went in the house and when I was in the basement and picked up the sword um, the Himes the shadow of the Heim was on the wall because it was right behind me oh, that was kind of creepy I'll admit Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, or at least found it entertaining. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. This is probably the longest video I've ever done, but I, by the time I realized it was coming on 30 minutes, I knew it wasn't much left to it. So I just tied it all together. It won't happen much. So like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. And until next time, as always, later.